Hi, I'm Stacy from the Lama Gamer, and today I've decided to make a second mod video following up from my first mod video. Some people had some confusion, and I just want to clarify some things and try to make it as simple as possible for you to mod your game. So first off, you need to download a mod. Go to any website that you want to use and download whatever mod you like. I'm going to use Mod The Sims, and I'm going to download the Pregnancy Mega Mod. You have to have an account at the Mod The Sims to download the mods but it's free so I'm gonna click on the mod to download you need a program on your computer to extract the files into a package file so I use WinZip and you can use that online for free you can download a free trial once you've downloaded it'll look like this go into your sims folder into your documents I have Windows 8, so it's in this PC, Documents, Electronics, Arts, The Sims 4. And then you click on Mods. And then you drag the package file over. So there, that's it for this one. That's all you have to do. Just make sure you read all installation instructions when you're downloading a mod, just in case there's extra steps. And I will show you a mod that requires an extra step. But if it doesn't say, this is how you would do it. So I'm going to go back to Mod The Sims. I'm going to download the longer, shorter pregnancy mod. There's a couple different ones you can have. This is pregnancy 1 day, 9 days, 18 days, 30 days. I'm going to choose pregnancy 9 days. And in this one, in the installation instructions, it says you have to make an empty folder in your mods folder named unpack mod. So how you do that this is in the mods folder. Right click, new folder, unpacked mod. And then it says open your resource folder and copy and paste this line and add it in there. So click on resource, enter down, paste that in there, oh it's already in mine, never mind, but you would copy and paste it in there. And when you exit it, it will say save. And then the last step, you drag your mod over. And that's it. Just remember everyone to always read the installation instructions from wherever you get your mod. And when you, before you download any mod, go into your game, click on game options and allow for script mods and apply your changes, which I've showed in my first video and I will uh, make a detailed um, description below on that as well and always create a backup folder before installing any mods so you can always have something to go back to when you want to change your mods around or add more mods or delete mods and I also wanted to inform everybody that the Inti mod from my first video is no longer available after the patch um, and I will update everyone when I know if there's a new version thanks for watching and please remember to subscribe